Hello class, in this video I will show you the mesh tool and we'll use the mesh tool to draw this planner. By default it's supposed to be the gradient tool, so you can just click on it and hold and switch mesh tool. And here I imported two planner photos um, for references and I'll draw on top of this one and the second one I'll use it as a reference for colors. And I'll lock this layer and uh, I'll put a new layer. Okay. So first we'll use the pen tool and fill color so like a long and the stroke uh, you can pick up any color so I will do black color. Now let's uh, draw the outline of this planner. Okay, I'll start from this point. So once you finish the outline, you can select the fill color. We can use a color picker, which is the eye drop tool. We can pick up, let's see, we can fill with this color. Let me disconnect it, and this is how it looks. And then we'll use the mesh tool. So you'll just have to switch it. And we can start from this corner. So just a click in the center. As you can see, by click, it draw these meshes and appear as 3D. So I draw from that line, and I'll add uh, the horizontal line. So now you create this uh, 3D wireframe, and then we can feel kind of in there. So now let's just switch to the direct selection tool. As you can see, I have uh, the top photo as a reference, and uh, I can bring it down a little bit and lock it in there and use this uh, direct selection tool. So for this side, I will fill with the bright color. So we can select this vertex and hold on shift and select all other vertexes that you would like to fill a color. Okay, and I'll end that here. And then we can use the eye drop tool and pick up this color. And you can see that it will fill the corner to the vertices that we selected. All right, and then let's uh, switch back to the direct selection tool, deselect first, and then we'll select the uh, vertices on the bottom. These three. All right, and uh, we'll fill with uh, this darker brownish color. Okay, switch back to direct selection tool, and this time we'll select this one and this one and this one maybe and fill with lighter brown color here all right and let's take a look at how it looks now as you can see that you start to create the shading and the volume for the blana by drawing all right and here we can darken it a little bit so like this one this one this one and we can fill it with a, a light brownish color so here we darken it a little bit, and here's a reflection from the ground. Okay, same thing for this side. So we can use the direct selection tool, and we can use this one. We can select this one here, here, and then fill it with the uh, here. All right. And okay, this is how it looks. Let's go to the top here. So make this one this one and we can fill it with uh, the lighter greenish color maybe here okay all right here 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 and maybe here we can fill it with the darker green color right, I like this transition and then here on the top these two points and we can fill it with the uh, the brownish color, the end spot, we can fill it with the brownish color. That's how it looks. Now you can see that the mesh tool, it gives us this uh, base shape and it builds up the volume. So now this is our main shape. And we can lock this layer and we can create a new layer. And we'll start to create the details. 
I would actually draw some small spots on the planner and I can pick out this light brownish color and I can bring it onto the planner and go to the effect and we can apply a Gaussian blur and I can turn on the preview to see how it looks okay to confirm the change and it is smaller all right and then hold down option key and you can duplicate it and randomize it and you can also um, change the color of it so for example here I can make it a little bit darker we can select all of these and we can go to transparency and instead of using the normal mode we can use the multiply mode so now color will blend into the main shape we have drawn earlier we can draw some shape at here to tighten the ear a little bit we can also go to effect and blur and Gaussian blur and preview to see how it looks uh, a little bit more and we can also go to transparency and change it to multiply and as you draw more to kind of tighten the shape a little bit or make it more realistic okay so this is the workflow of um, doing vector drawing use the mesh tool so we use the mesh tool in the beginning to build a base shape the base color the volume and then you can use the pen tool and tool to start to build the details